would get asked this question. I knew someone was gonna ask me about this. Hi, I'm Jay. I just started downpouring. This was a thunderstorm here today. If you've never seen me before, hi, I'm Jay or Crochet by Kangaroo on TikTok and Instagram, and I like to crochet cute plushies. I've been sharing my crochet journey on TikTok and Instagram for about a year and a half now, and I've made a lot of friends along the way. So I asked a few of them over on Instagram to ask me some questions for my first YouTube video. First question, the pins I use to hold the parts while I sew never stay... The pins I use... Yes, I hear the thunderstorm. My friend texting me about the thunderstorm. If I hear it, of course I do. <laughs> the pins I use to hold the parts while I sew never stay in. What do you use? I do use regular sewing pins. I know a lot of people like to use knitting needles to hold bigger pieces together. Or even, I think I've seen people use floral pins. I think that's what they're called. But what I do is I use for bigger pieces. I use pins to map out where I want to sew the pieces together instead of like pinning them together. That helps me. That was, that's what works for me. Advice for people struggling with magic circles. So I do have a magic circle tutorial on my TikTok. A lot of people did say it's like the only tutorial that helped them. So I don't know. You could check that out if you want. But also if you're really struggling with a magic circle, there is an alternative method called the chain two method, which I would recommend looking into. Would you choose pattern testers who haven't had experience in testing? Absolutely. I definitely would. As long as you meet the requirements in my caption or whatever, I'll definitely consider you. What hook size would you recommend using for the size yarn you use on all your amigurumi? So it depends what yarn I'm using. Typically, I use Sweet Snuggles Light or Bernat Blanket Yarn. Um, and for those, I use 5.5 to 6 millimeter crochet hooks. No question, just thank you. You inspired me to make one myself when I love him. I don't know what you made, but I'm sure it turned out amazing. I love to hear that. Thank you so much. It's the reason that I made any of my accounts is to inspire other people because at one point, other people did inspire me as well. So I love to hear that. Do you have a crochet Charmander? No, I've never crocheted Charmander. I would love to crochet Charmander. He would be a really cute one to crochet. Do keep in mind though, when I start selling on my website, I probably won't be selling many Pokemon plushies. I just really don't want to get sued. When did you start to crochet? I learned when I was 16, but I was really bad at it. Don't expect to be good at something when you first try, or you won't keep up with it. Yeah, so I dropped it after a few weeks. But then I started again about two years ago. Can you launch smaller free patterns for plushes? Absolutely I can. I actually plan on doing like an exclusive YouTube tutorial for this guy. Um, Minus the hat though, because the hat was an absolute dumpster fire, like... You might think it looks good, but the only reason it looks good is because I sewed it down like crazy. This duck is a pretty simple, small pattern, so I plan on doing a free like tutorial on YouTube for it. What stitch do you use the most often? The single crochet is definitely a staple in Amigurumi, so I definitely use that one most often. Can you teach me how to make a Snorlax? I knew I'd get asked this question. I knew someone was going to ask me about this. Um, guys, I'm really sorry that it's been so long. I definitely intended to release a Snorlax pattern, and I will. It will be for free on my website. I wasn't 100% happy with the pattern, so I wasn't going to release something I wasn't 100% happy with. So I started revising it, and then the holiday season came around, and I got really busy, and I just kind of forgot it. You know, life happens, and yeah, but I'll definitely, I'll get to it soon. I promise I'll get to it soon. It'll be for free on my website. Do you sell your pattern? It depends what pattern you're talking about. The only pattern I sell as of right now is my Top Hat Teddy pattern. If you've seen any of my posts where I say I freehanded something, I definitely didn't write the pattern down, which I definitely regret a lot. I regret it a lot because there's a few that I'd love to remake. Hi, I've messaged a few times. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. If you probably messaged me on Instagram, and I'm going to be honest, if you message me on Instagram, I probably won't answer. Um, but if anyone has any business inquiries or anything, I do have an email. I always answer my emails. I'm about four hours away local. Can I do a commission? It's for my fiance. So unfortunately, the way I do commissions, the way I do commissions is that I only do them if I can like drop them off to you. Like I can meet you and drop them off to you. The reason I do that, I mean, there's many reasons I do that for starters. Doing that allows me to make things for my friends and family and people that they tell about my stuff. 
in town. That's the main reason I do commissions. It keeps my commissions down because if I did commissions for everyone that has ever asked me to do a commission, I would never have a spare moment in my life. People ask me all the time on the internet for commissions. I don't take commissions online, unfortunately. Um, that's just the way that, ha it, that's just what's been working for me. Like as of right now, I really shouldn't even take more commissions in general because I have too many lined up. It's just too much for one person to take on, so that's how I do that. But I'm, I'm really sorry, and I'm really sorry for not answering your messages, and I'm sorry that I can't do a commission for you at this time, but if I ever do open commissions up, you know, if I have a few slots open or whatever in the future, I will let you guys know. Favorite Pokemon? I love that question. Thank you for that question. Definitely have to be a grass-type Pokemon. I love plants. I love flowers, so that's totally on brand for me. Um... Probably like Petalil or something because I love her evolutions and I love grass type Pokemon. I don't know, something like Petalil probably. But that's really hard. There's so many good ones. There's so many cute ones. I'm definitely a sucker for the cute ones. I'm one of those people. What made you start crocheting and what advice would you give for people starting out? What made me start crocheting first was Pinterest. The second time around was TikTok. And advice I would give for people starting out, start small. Don't see something massive and extravagant and think, oh, I'm going to make that. It's going to take a while to get there, okay? So don't do it. I didn't expect to be great at first and then stop trying. Um, start small. Do like a ball or something. That's what I did both times I started. You know, you'll learn your magic circle, your increases, decreases. Watch YouTube tutorials. There's tons. And also buy materials for cheap at like Walmart. Don't invest too much. You don't have to spend a lot of money. It's not an expensive hobby to start. Um, once you get into it, you'll be addicted to yarn and stuff, so it will turn into an expensive hobby. To start, you can go to Walmart, get a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn, and use like a safety pin or a bobby pin for a stitch marker, and you're set. Well, in stuffing as well. Will you release a Snorlax pattern? Like I said, yes, I will, for free on my website in the future. I, need, I just need to revise it and fix it up a bit, and I will get to it. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to grow my crochet account. Any tips or tricks to getting more followers and engagement? So my best advice for that would be to try to stand out. Don't make what everybody else is making. Like, we've seen so many mini octos, mini whales, the cows, you know. So make something different. Um, and what's worked well for me is crochet like things with a fandom like my Pokemon videos did really well My Five Nights at Freddy's videos did really well So if there's something you're interested in like if you have a favorite anime a favorite series or something crochet something in that because then You're not only gonna reach people who like crochet But you'll reach people in that fandom and they'll love your stuff, you know try different things and step out of your comfort zone what inspired you to start your craft? Like I said, Pinterest at first and TikTok later in life. And how long have you been doing it? I learned initially when I was 16. I'm 25 now. Um, I wouldn't say I've been doing it for the entire nine years, obviously, because I dropped it. I dropped it a few weeks after I learned when I was 16. But consistently, I've been doing it for about two years. Crochet a Galarian Ponita, please. I would love to crochet that. That would be a really cool one to crochet. I'll definitely keep that one in mind. No question, but Square Bunny is so cute. Thank you so much. That was the first Pokemon plushie I crocheted with blanket yarn, and that's when I became addicted. I would love to get long Pokemon tutorials for amateurs. I started because of you. First of all, thank you. I love hearing that. That's the best compliment ever. In the past, people inspired me, and now I love to be the one inspiring others. I love that. Um, as far as long Pokemon tutorials, I could do that in the future. Um, maybe with my Snorlax pattern, I'll post a YouTube tutorial. It would probably be in multiple parts, though, because he's bigger. He's a bigger guy. I'm looking for skin color yarn for a dot. What color is good for skin tones? So... I don't know what yarn is available where you're located, but what I use is Skeen Tones. I think it's by Lion Brand, but like the peach color is questionable. It's very pink. If you know, you know. If any other crocheters have good skin tone recommendations, leave them in the comments below because I would also love to know.
is worldwide shipping available? Not when I first start. I don't know if I'll expand in the future, but as of right now, I'm having a hard enough time figuring out shipping in the US. So not when I first start. Are you planning on selling Pokemon patterns? I don't plan on selling them. I do plan on releasing a free pattern for Snorlax in the future. That's the only Pokemon pattern that I I have though. I freehanded a few and I didn't write them down, unfortunately. Do you like birds? I don't not like birds. Do you like birds? Do you believe in birds? I believe in birds. How do you sew the fell eyes and stuff on plushies? Also, what do you use to do it? I actually have a couple videos on TikTok about this. I ask this question a lot. I use the felt sheets that you can get from like Walmart or Michaels or Joann's. They're like 30 to 50 cents and I cut out, I have no special way of doing this. I just cut out the shapes that I want. Then I use an embroidery needle and embroidery thread to sew them onto the plushie. I would love to try needle felting though. I've seen people needle felt eyes onto their plushies and it looks so good. It looks so good. I've never needle felted before and I actually have a needle felting kit that I got for Christmas and I really want to try it out but I haven't gotten to it yet. When do you plan to open commissions again? Mudkip is a need. Thank you so much for loving my mud kip. I was very proud of that mud kip. And unfortunately, I didn't write the pattern down. Right now, I don't have plans to open commissions online. I'm really sorry. If I ever plan to open commissions online, I'll let you guys know, obviously. Will you be able to ship worldwide? I'm from Sydney, Australia, and would like to buy some plushies. So unfortunately, at first, no, I won't be shipping worldwide. But I appreciate that so much. That's so kind. Thank you. New to crocheting, do you use a hook size smaller than your yarn thickness for tight crafts? Absolutely do. I definitely do. I use about a hook size or two smaller. And that's it for the questions. Thank you so much for all the questions. I didn't expect to actually even get that many. So I appreciate it a lot. A lot of fun chatting with you guys. And if you have any more questions, definitely leave them below. Also, I'm new here. So if you could subscribe, like this video and comment, it would help me out so much. And I'd appreciate it so much. But thanks for chatting with me. Stay creative, guys.